Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Bava playing against Jojo Le Fou. Uh, I'm playing Modern Mono Blue Tron. We'd like to play first. Tower, Power Plants, Maps, Angels, Condescends. There's a lot of decks that this wins against. Uh, fair decks that can't deal with an Angel, it does pretty well. So we'll go for the turn three Angel and see what happens. Depends what he is in the meantime. Oh, Ghost Quarter can just mess us up a little bit. Hmm. Centering Titan is kind of interesting. Okay, so we'll get a tower. He's gonna have to use his Ghost Quarter. And that'll give us an island. Hopefully he takes out the power plant. So we're playing against Eggs. Um, eggs gets Emrakul, which is a fine plan. <sighs> okay, let's just do it. takes out the tower, which is sad. But he loses his ghost quarter. That's something. Yes. I wish he'd taken out the other one. Blonk. Alright. He knows we have the mine, so we might as well play the mine. Uh, he does not know we have this power plant. Okay. Well, we might need that Sundering Titan to come down before that angel stop him from going off, but it could be... Oh, we should have countered that, of course. Counters are best for the Quark clan things, so maybe we save them for that. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, we should have really condescended that wellspring, I think, but keeping that up is fine. <sighs> Having islands is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slow playing this seems fine right now. Um, expedition map, expedition map, we can ditch one. Hello, Solemn. Keeping him off Clark Clan, or the Ironworks is pretty easy right now. Getting the expedition map seems good, and then sundering tightening him seems really good too. Okay, that is our plan. And it's a fine plan. Mm-hmm. Always oh, got the ghost quarters, don't you? Alright. If he lets me get the tower, he's going to be in big trouble. I mean, I'm getting the tower, but if he lets me pay, play the tower, he's going to be in big trouble. That's fine. Grape shot. Yep, you still need uh, ironworks though, right? Uh, power plant mine. Tower. Blow up the power. 
power plant. Alright, he's torturing me. He's blowing up the mine. It's like he knows. Yes. Um, we'll get Solemn. We'll keep up Condescend Mana. A little natural ramping. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Um, I think tech hedging something seems fun. Getting a treasure mage seems nice. Having condescend mana feels good unless I need to thirst for knowledge. Yes. But I want a mind slaver. That seems like it would work pretty good against him. Um, I think Mindslaver wrecks him. In the meantime, we just really have to stop him from blowing up on us. Silence. <laughs> you can always tap it. TV does. Okay. Do I make him pay that one? Let him have two? Plays a lane, he's got four, right? Hmm. There it is. Ah, look, he's gonna go. There it is. All right. Silence. Well, wow. unexpected. I think he got us there. Those friggin' ghost quarters, well timed. So otherwise, uh, yeah. I don't see stopping him here. All right, well, game plan. That's pretty good. 
It is practice, and we can play it out. <clears throat> we had Sundering Titan next turn. I guess we could have done it. Maybe we should have. Do we have it? We must have. Uh, I should have Sundering Titaned. That's probably my best play. Damn. All right. Tech edging on his upkeep was a better play, too. I just effed that up too much, twice. All right. <clears throat> We've got a reshape, huh? There's, of course, the Grape Shot. We know he has the Grape Shot in his hand, right? Okay. <laughs> yep. All the things. Ah. Uh -huh. Blue, white, red, reshape. And go again and reshape it all and go. He had an extra land out of all that too. Mm. Maybe he'll accidentally deck himself. Seems unlikely. I know when I'm comboing off, it's much more fun. Uh, people let me do it, in my opinion. Uh, not with the Mind Slaver lock, necessarily. So Mind Slaver lock online is stupid. But something like this is interesting. And we get to see all those cool cards. Only he knows what his storm count is. Oh wait, hold on. It should tell me here. Well, I guess since it's not active. 22. All right, fair enough. I feel like we can win this matchup handily that silence was a surprise and we saw another one there so we just got at least two silences bringing in crucible of worlds um squelching thing seems fun Pretty easily grape shot over my angel. So I think she's not great. I think worm coil's better because gaining a lot of life is more challenging for him to deal with than platinum angel. We don't need dismembers. Um, what else do we not want? He's got white, but he's definitely not bringing in um, stony silence. And he's probably, he's definitely not bringing in rest in peace. So I don't have to worry about the traditional white uh, sideboard cards. Spell Pierce, Spell Snare. I think Spell Pierce is good. Yeah, we can't do mana abilities, which technically that is. We could squelch his land development, which seems pretty fun. Cyclonic Rift seems too slow. If we're at that point, I don't think I want it anymore. Remands. Uh, remands are good. Snapcaster's good. Squelch is good. Uh, the Talismans. I'm not sure. Sundering Titan seems pretty sweet. Condescends. 
Probably not the repeals. Okay. Yep, that seems like a good plan to me. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves. I think I messed that game up a number of times. So we just need to get there. <laughs> Mine into map go. All right. Eggs can go off really early. Ah, look at that expedition map. Snap. What else? Okay. We have Squelch, and Remand, and Condescend. And uh, that makes me feel pretty good about my, myself. Sleight of hand. I don't want to do anything to that. I don't care about it. Do we want to remand that, really? Not really. Um, it's a good question. Just to draw a card? Just to scry. All right, there's a mine, which we already have, and a thirst for knowledge, which we could definitely use. Okay. I'm not sure how to play this matchup the very best that I can. I was really hoping for a, uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything with that. Do I want to remand that? I don't want to remand that. I want to slow him down from his damn Kark clan. We have all the stars. Okay, Spell Pierce is nice. Blue, blue. We have Spell Pierce and Thirst for Knowledge. Maybe I should have cast Thirst for Knowledge. But... Do I want him to pierce through depths? It's fine. He could whiff. That would be great. I really want an O stone just to blow up all this crap. But you can always get it back. That's the challenge. Hmm. Indeed. Pithing needle for my map right when it mattered. We don't have anything to do with that map yet. But we're going to find something with this thirst right here. And, uh,. He takes a silence. Mm. Okay. Tower Island Island. Jeez. Maybe I keep the tower. I got two blue mana sources now. 
Having three might be nicer, but I need five mana for that. Alright. Hmm. Hello, Snapcaster. Uh, so we can just spell pierce the silence. Snapcaster into Thirst. <laughs> Come on, Tiago. Oh. <clears throat> That's fine. We've got all sorts of gas. And now we have a clock. And we're going to win right here with this Snapcaster Mage. I'm calling it now. Yep. I wish I had a repeal for that. I took it all out. Sleight of hand's fine. There's only a few cards that matter. All the things that I could do. Icor Wellspring. Hmm. <sighs> really? I kind of want to remand that because I want to draw into something. Like an island. Now you can cast it. Do I remand it again? No, I like having at least two counters. Good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're all tapped out. Just a matter of time. He knows I can just mess him up because I can, uh, I can blow up all of his stuff, and he's just in so much trouble at that point. Still like this, still sticking with this. Okay, well this match is officially interesting. Game three, Crazy Jojo and I going at it. Um. If he has a Pithing Needle again, I'm going to be upset. Otherwise, this is a super keep. Or maybe it's Island Spell Pierce for the Pithing Needle. No, the Pithing Needle is actually fine. Oh, he most of five. All right. Is that so he can Pithing Needle me? Hmm. 
There's a lotus bloom. All right, that's not a mind slaver luck. I think I'd rather have spell pierce mana available for anything broken that might happen. Still keeping up spell pierce just in case. We probably don't have to worry about this until Lotus Bloom comes down, at which point we'll spell pierce that to try and slow down his mana development. He's trying to draw into more stuff. Spell Pierce and Remand mana up for his big turn, which is this turn. Oh, do I just remand it? I think so. Hmm. There it goes again. All right. All right, we keep an eye out for Pithing Needle. Quite enough for Mind Slayer, actually. Hmm. Tower, Power Plant, Mine. <laughs> o Stone. So we can gifts at the end of his turn, getting us land number 10 for Mind Slaver. Seems pretty good. He still doesn't have Lotus Bloom back yet. Possibly just a land. I guess it can be Academy Ruins. And. Oh gosh, Crucible. Sundering Titan. And another Tower. And. We don't want to put the Crucible in there too. That would just be horrible. Uh, another Mind Slaver. He ditches the Academy Ruins, which is just a little frustrating. Uh, I guess we could take another Gifts, or we could take an Expedition Map. Hmm. All right. He's going to give us the Tower and the Titan, which I think is enough to just win. I put myself in this position where he's got to get rid of Crucible and Ruins. I think mind slavering him, he'll just concede anyway. Uh, because next turn's his big turn with Lotus Bloom. So, 
It's probably your ruins and crucible go away and I get Titan and Tower. Uh, we still have remand mana up if we need it. We still have O Stone. I can't think of any tricks that he might have, honestly, that are really going to mess with me. He hasn't shown me any, except he could silence me on my upkeep. Hmm. We still have Condescend and Remand on his turn, though. So, remanding a Lotus Bloom is amazing. O Stone actually doesn't do a whole lot in response to his stuff. Um, it's more of a preemptive, oh, look at this stuff you have on the table. Let's blow it all up for you. So it's... Oh, the tower in the ruins. Interesting. All right. Well, there's another condescend. Does he silence me now? No. So we can do the tower for the tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still can't do anything there, though. I think we do the tower for the tower, and then we have to keep mana up for that Lotus Bloom. It's really annoying. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we'll play the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still, it hasn't changed. Oh my god. All right, we got two counters to mess with his Lotus Bloom turn. Mm hmm. No squelches, right? Oh dear, so much pressure. Yeah, lots of islands. If he does that, he gets some land and some other stuff. It feels like a trick because it doesn't actually, like, he's not going off yet at this point. Oh, look, he does get those rainforests back. That's frustrating. Okay. Maybe let the Lotus Bloom happen. We're only worried about...
Condescend for five is good. Okay, we have him next turn. We have to live through this turn. That, more than anything else, is the trick. Are you guys on the edge of your seat? Because I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know if we can do it. He's got... Uh, all kinds of mean tricks up his He's really looking for a silence, I think. Um, if he gets a silence, we're actually screwed. So, because he's got just enough. I guess if he casts a silence, we have to. Hmm. Well, there's the silence. We've still got five left over here for the O stone. Make him pay one. I let it go. Uh, tech Edge in an island. We don't want those. Okay, so we got the silence. Now we're looking at O Stone. There's four. There's that. Okay. Now we blow it up. I lose my crucible. Is four again. Ah. If he has another one, which he probably does. Or f he could have all sorts of things. Oh, he had no more. Oh no, he had no more basic land. Snap. Otherwise. Ah. Uh, Suspending that. Alright. Well. We're going to take control of his turn. And we'll win right there. <sighs> wow, okay. So we know he had another Quark clan, but he didn't have any basic land. Uh, to get with that, or else we could have lost right there. So I think probably I misplayed that again, <sighs> but I'm not sure what I could have done. So uh, we got there in the end, but really interesting, uh, sort of tough matchup. I think I lost the last time I played this matchup. Um, I don't remember, but pretty fun. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Bava playing Mono Blue Tron against Jojo Le Feu, Crazy Jojo, who was playing blue-white eggs, and uh, I'll catch you all next time.